Hey guys, it's me David. It's uh, 7 5 2020, Sunday night. Um, thought I would do a little video. Not too much going on. Um, it hasn't been that bad of a day. They're kind of lighting a few flare rock works off during the day a little bit tonight. They're lighting them off. Um, they're not going crazy on them, but they, they are lighting them off. Um, dogs are a little scared and stuff like that. Um, Hasn't been, you know, I'm not going to get upset in this video. <laughs> Sorry. I, you know, I have to apologize for my past videos and the swearing and stuff like that. I apologize for that. Um, these guys know how to get my emotions running. And then with remote neuro manipulation on top of it and all this stuff, you know, they can induce certain uh, emotions um, to get you worked up. You know, and then they, you, you add the harassment on top of it, and it gets you worked up, you know. Um, so it's been a kind of a relaxed night. They're, they're out there right now, light them off, um, lighting the fireworks off, scaring the dogs. You know, the only thing is, there's a lot of dog owners around here, and a lot of people that try to sleep and they have to work in the morning and stuff like that. Um... They're targeting everyone around this neighborhood, you know, not just me, but everyone is dealing with this um, because of me, you know, they, they want to harass me, but in reality is, is that they're harassing everyone in the neighborhood, you know, they're harassing everyone in the neighborhood, you know, they don't care, you know, they have like tunnel vision where, you know, you're the target, they go after, the, they, they'll go after you but they don't care what, you know, who gets in the way, or if these people have to wake up and go to work in the morning, you know, tomorrow's Monday morning, you know, a lot of people have to work in the morning and stuff like that, they have pets, and they're scaring their pets, so everyone's going through this, not just me, you know, everyone's going through this, whether they're perps or non-perps, you know, everyone's going through this, so... It hasn't been that bad of a day. It's been a real nice day. We had a few isolated thunderstorms and stuff like that, but we got out quite a few times today. Um, it was uh, 84 degrees at one point, and then it cooled down until about, you know, it got down to about 73 degrees, nice and comfortable. Um, took Tanner out, went, went for a walk and all that stuff. Um, went for a couple rides today. Um... You know, me and my relative went for, you know, to go look at a house. We couldn't find it and stuff, but we, we got out. Um, you know, you have to do that every single day to get out, you know, and, try, you know, try to get out of this neighborhood. You know, I don't live in the best neighborhood when I, when I was growing up. You know, I, you know, I was, I had a house a couple blocks up the street and all this stuff. You know, so I lived in this neighborhood, um pretty much my whole life, you know, when I was a little kid, the neighbors knew every, you know, we, you know, everyone knew everyone, we didn't lock our doors, we'd stay out until midnight playing hide and go seek, we'd get, you know, we'd go, we'd go home and, uh, dress in all black, and, um, play hide and go seek until like midnight, you know, we didn't lock our doors, we didn't have anybody to worry about, you know, and all this stuff, in, it's changed so much around here that there's bad people living in our neighborhood that are they're just they're very bad people um, that you know you wish they weren't here you know um, you know some of them are perps some of them are not not perps but they we don't have the we don't live in the best neighborhood now you know um, you know and stuff and uh, um, you know, the neighborhood's kind of gone downhill, and then they move perps in and stuff like that. Some of them harass you, some of them don't. I don't know what their role is, you know, I mean, you know, I don't know what their job is, you know, I mean, it's, they have lots of perps in the neighborhood, but they don't necessarily harass you, you know, I, I don't know what their job is, you know, they're just there doing whatever, walking their dog or whatever, I don't know what their job is, you know, so, but they're involved somehow, you know, so anyway, I thought I'd do a little video, not too much going on, um, if they don't hit me, we're gonna go camping tomorrow, we're gonna
we're gonna leave here at four o'clock. We're gonna go get go get Subway, go get supper, and then go to the campground, eat supper and all that stuff, have a fire, drink a few beers and all this stuff, and try to enjoy the night. Um, hopefully they won't get too ticked off about that. You know, if I come back, are they gonna touch me for two weeks? I, you know, I don't know. You know, they they do to the point where you're almost gonna call for help. You know, I mean. They just, they push the limits, you know, to see what you're going to do. Who are you going to call? You know, <clears throat> um, <coughs> you know, when I get hit super hard, um, I don't sit there and take it. Um, I, I hop on the computer and I start writing to people. You know, they don't like that, you know. You know, it, it's... You know, um, you know, it's, you know, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta try to fight back. You know, not, not like, you know, some people fight back with shielding and, um, or they just sit there and take it, you know. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. You know, that's my thoughts. I don't deserve this treatment. I had a good life up until I was 40 or 41. And then I got in this program, you know, and stuff. And one of the dogs are coming back down. Um, dogs are scared because they're lighting off fireworks. So they're coming in my room now. You know, but I don't deserve this. Did you hear that? You know, I don't deserve to be harassed. I don't deserve to have my van set on fire. I don't deserve to be tortured. You know, I don't deserve that. Um, I do everything I can do, especially when I'm getting hit hard, to contact people to try to get this to stop or slow down at least, you know. Um, if these guys had it their way, they would torture you 16 hours a day. They don't care. They would torture you 16 hours a day and not give you a day off. You know, they would have you sitting on your bed and they would torture you the hell out of you that's what they want and that's what they expect you know I think there's some people that don't allow that you know I think some people out there do say give them a break um if they give me the break you know, a break on weapons they really hammer me with in-person harassment like now the fireworks you know so I've had a few days off from the weapons. I mean, I'm still getting remote air monitoring, remote air manipulation, and all that stuff. But it's bearable, you know. But now, like the fireworks, you know, it's after, it's almost 1030 at night, you know. They're doing the fireworks, you know, now. They don't care, you know, these people don't care. Um, another thing I was thinking about today, um is that these people, okay, all these perps are in a pool filled with snakes, you know. They're going to turn on you sooner or later. They're going to turn on you sooner or later. How do you know that they don't have a plan for you that's in place? You know, how do you know they don't have a plan for you that's in place? You know, I would be worried about that. I wouldn't want to be a perp. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't trust these guys. You know, I've heard some stories out there where people got kidnapped for a few days. And they, you know, all this stuff. Um, you know, I don't know if it's true or not, but, but some of these perps, I don't think they treat very well. You know, but, but they're trapped. They can't open their mouth. They can't leave. They can't leave. You know, we're, we're, it's not a job. This ain't a job. They can quit, you know. Yeah, you give your life. You give your life to this. You know, they own you, you know. They own you. How do you know they don't have a plan for you? You know, you're in a pool full of snakes. They'll turn on you in a heartbeat. They don't care, you know. So, I wouldn't want to be them, to be honest with you. Um... 
you know, even though we're getting tortured, we're being harassed and all this stuff, I wouldn't want to be these guys. Um, because they're going to turn on them eventually, you know. You know, can you imagine what they're saying behind their backs? You know, these low-level people, you know. They're probably not saying very good things behind your back. And there ain't any damn thing you can do about it. You have to do what they say. If you don't do what they say, they're going to come for you. They're going to come for you in a big way. You know, so these people are screwed. They're screwed too, you know. They're screwed too, you know. So that's something the perps need to think about, you know. But other than that, um, it hasn't been too terribly bad. They're starting to lay on the fireworks now. You can probably hear it in the background. Um, you know, they just, uh, they don't know when to stop. They need to be babysat. You know, somebody needs to babysit these people because they act like they're a bunch of 12-year-old boys teasing someone and they think it's a big joke. You know, they're immature. They're, their brain hasn't matured. You know, psychopaths. You know, their, their brain is different from ours. It's, it's different. It's wider different. You know? So anyway, I'm going to cut this off. I hope you guys do well and stuff like that out there. Um... And stay safe, and I'll talk to you later.